Hi guys, welcome to Art of Ani. I am Anirudh and here we are still going on with our Marvel artworks and today we are going to paint Black Widow and Hawkeye. They are great fighters, super spies and most importantly they are part of the 6 OG Avengers. So without wasting any time let's put up our stealth spy suits and sneak right into it. Okay, for this artwork I was really excited because it was going to be much different than the previous ones. Because it is an artwork with two characters while the previous ones featured only one. So for the first sketch I made this cool body shot of Nate and Clint doing some action because you know they are really great team so they are effectively fighting with a bunch of enemies easily. I really like how the poses flow into each other. This sketch looks good but now moving on to the sketch I am actually very excited about. This one features the scene when Natasha sacrifices herself for the soul stone and Clint wakes up holding the stone filled with heartbreak as he knows that this stone costed the life of his friend. I absolutely love how this composition has turned out. Plus, it was such a beautiful scene, beautiful but also full of sadness. But I can almost see already that this sketch is going to be a lot of fun to paint and the finished piece is gonna turn out really really beautiful. No second thoughts now, we are moving on with this one. After the rough sketch is done, I'm making a clean sketch or line art you can say. I don't always do that but I just felt like it. Plus it helps you make things tight and clear before jumping into the painting part. It can also help you discover mistakes in the sketch which went previously unnoticed in the rough sketch. So yeah, those are the benefits of making a clear line art after the rough sketch. After the sketch, I am so excited to put colors in there because I totally love the red maroon atmosphere of the place where Clint wakes up with the soul stone and how beautifully its warm atmosphere will contrast the cold and dry atmosphere where Natasha died. After we are done with the base colors, we do the base shading and lighting of the whole piece. Always remember to do the basic shading and lighting of the whole artwork keeping it completely zoomed out. Because seeing the whole artwork will help you take better decisions while painting and give the whole thing a sense of harmony by the end. And talking about this artwork particularly, even if there are two characters in the same artwork, but remember they are in two different atmospheres or locations you can say. So the mood of their shading and lighting will be different and also from what direction light is hitting them will also be different. Like for Clint, over here light is coming from the background and from the stone. For the atmosphere, the place features really warm light so he will have shading and lighting according to that. Whereas Natasha is in a cold atmosphere so she will be painted accordingly. As we progress with the piece man I must say this again it is a really fun piece to work on because I have two absolutely different locations with completely different atmosphere and lighting. Half of it is very cold and unsaturated while the other half is filled with warm red light and the glow of the soul stone. I really can't wait to see how it's going to turn out as a finished piece. You know guys this artwork makes me think in a way Natasha accepted the cold fate of death to gift his friend Clint a possibility of a future of bright and warm light just like the light coming out of the soul stone. I know it sounds a bit too poetic but I think it is kinda true. Cause Clint got something bittersweet in the end, something which he must accept with a heavy heart. In the end what Natasha did for Clint was just what he did for her many years ago and that is being a friend to someone who has been led down a dark path in life by life itself and giving that person an opportunity to have a new beginning. And that is what both of them did for each other when it was most needed.
I think that is just what friends do, right? And with that said, that was the story of two friends, the spy and the archer, the story of Black Widow and Hawkeye. So that is it for this video and till now we are done with 5 out of 6 original Avengers and next up we are going to paint the Hulk. So be ready for that and you can also connect with me on your favorite social platforms. So stay subscribed, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video and see you in the next one.